What's going on, YouTube and all my Forex fiends out there? Corey Smith here, CoreFX, bringing you another weekly technical talk video. Today is June 9th, 2018. It is a Saturday, and what I'm going to be doing here in this video is going over the trading week ahead. I will be going over technical analysis of the charts. I'll go over all of the major indexes for each individual currency. I will go over the U.S. dollar crosses, all of the pairs involving the U.S. dollar of the major currencies, as well as the... Um, breakdown of all my watch list, all the pairs I'm watching currently, looking for setups on for the week ahead. So it's a full-on dive into the technical analysis of the charts, getting ready for the week ahead. All my returning viewers, thank you very much. I appreciate the support. Hope you guys are getting something out of these videos. My new people, welcome. I appreciate you taking the time to give it a shot. I hope you enjoy what you see here. Um, I do these videos every week, so if it's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe, comment, like, tell me what you want to see, tell me what you do or don't like about it, and stay tuned to the videos as they come out. All right, guys, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and hop into the charts now. All right, guys, so diving into the charts here, we're going to start with the U.S. dollar. Um, U.S. dollar, we have seen the sell-off continue again this week. We saw some more weakness, as you can see here this week, with these red bearish candles selling off off these highs up here. Um, we did have a you know, back-to-back two-week uh, retracement in this bull trend, but we do now see this uh, golden cross here. The 50s crossed above the 200 SMA. Um, price did sell off as we've been waiting for, and now I think we might be ready to start looking for buying opportunities in the dollar. I think it might be ready to start heading higher now, so that's what we'll be watching get started here. Um, as we have with the euro, uh, pretty much inversely correlated, and um, I'm going to look the exact opposite of each other. So we have this euro now in a downtrend. We got that death cross now, very bearish sign. We had a rally this week up to prior structure. Now having a little bit of a bounce off of it and prior resistance turned support. I mean support turned resistance. Um, so now we're going to be watching a, uh, also for this pair to continue the downside. Now this could break higher and continue bullish. Um, very possible. We just want to develop a bias, not be anchored to it, be ready to adapt. But that is our bias to start the week. Euro short. Yen, um, this is another one that, you know, we were moving lower. We rallied up, thought we were ready to move lower again, and we did, but we kind of bounced again. A little bit of an inverse head and shoulders forming here, but I am still bearish on this pair. 200 SMA has acted as support a little bit here, but um, I think we are ready to move lower, especially if we continue to see the risk off moving the markets. The Yen hasn't really been too weak with it, but I think there should be some Yen weakness coming. Pound. Another one I see being weak, we've had the sell-off base, sell-off, rallied back up to retest it. I think now we can sell off again. I think the pound is ready to move lower again as well. CAD, kind of a same story here. Not much movement going on in this range with this pair, so until it really breaks out one way or the other, not really any too clear direction, sitting on support, so it could bounce off the support, but also could break through it and set lows. So um, we'll be keeping an eye on this pair, but not too anchored to any one belief. Swiss Franks been in a strong downtrend. Then recently we've been rallying pretty strong off this support here on the weekly. Have now come up to hit the 50 SMA. So we could see a move lower this week. This is one of the big tests of a trend to see if it's going to continue the trend or reverse. Testing the 50 SMA is a big part of that. Um, and we are now testing the 50 SMA, so we'll see if price can continue this weakness off of it or if we're going to rally up and break up above it. Australian dollar. Um, we were expecting a push lower last week as we rallied up setting a lower high to this trend line but this week we did break through the trend line broke up hit resistance sold off so now we got a little bit of a break and a retest this daily trend line and the 50 sma so we'll have to wait and see if price is going to reverse this trend and now move to the upside new zealand dollar as you guys know has been at the bottom of this weekly range we did have another bullish weekly bounce off of that support taking the daily you can see the bounce here on monday and then it kind of just range the rest of the week with a bunch of indecision candles so no clear clear direction on new zealand dollar u.s dollar but we did get some more bullishness so that could be showing that this support is going to hold and we're going to get a bounce rather than a break so the next chart is the s p 500 index um, basically what i use to gauge the u.s stock market most 
investors, anal analysts, uh, traders all do the same. So I told you guys we were in this range after breaking this pattern, and we are looking for an upside breakout, and that's exactly what we got this week. Friday close of the strong bullish candle as well. So this breakout I'm expecting to continue. I see bullishness um, in the near future for S&P 500. As you guys know, that reflects into the currency markets pretty big time. One of the biggest being with the risk on, risk off moves. Risk on being the presence when the stock market's doing good, which usually sees a weakening of the Swiss franc and the Japanese yen, strengthening of New Zealand, Aussie, CAD. These are some correlations that go with risk on, risk off. But that's why we watch this pair, and I definitely, I mean, watch this index, and I definitely see the SP 500 continuing to the upside. Going over to the euro dollar, um, we have continued to rally this week as well off that support. We're now back up to a very strong zone. If you guys remember back in 2017, last September, October range, we had this head and shoulders forming. And this um, line on the top of the shoulders was a very strong support resistance zone. We've now come back up to that. We broke it and now we've rallied back up to it. So I do think we could see some short selling in the euro dollar. Something I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on. Um, one thing I don't like about it though is if you drop it down, you can see an inverse head and shoulders here on the four hour time frame. So this trend line is being respected here on the hourly and four hour. Um, so it's something we want to keep an eye on with this head and shoulders and see if we break above this level. That is going to tell me that the, the downside is not what I'm looking for, but as long as it stays below it, if it breaks this counter trend line, moves lower, I think we can see some downward movement out of this pair. Pound dollar. Um, Another nice setup, broke lower, set a lower low, rallied up to set a uh, lower high. We got an indecisive um, spinning top candle. Now we got a hanging man. Um, I do think this pair will move to the downside as well, and I do believe there will be some more um, bearish pressure going into the pound dollar this week. Dollar CAD, we're still pinned under this resistance and weekly trend line, this blue weekly trend line, red daily resistance. Friday, we did have a strong bearish close with this strong uh, bear candle. You can see upper rejection wick, strong candle close down here. Um, on the weekly, we have a spinning top on this pair, so more indecision underneath this strong zone. So nothing really too uh, crazy going on with this pair, but definitely seeing a little more bearish pressure than bullish. Dollar yen, not really much going on this week. We did bounce off the 200 SMA. A little bit of a right shoulder here forming of a head and shoulders pattern. This is a bearish reversal pattern. Um, but really, I need a break of 111 uh, or, um, yeah, 111 up here or 109 down here before I'm really too uh, set on any direction for this pair and really before I'm looking for any real trades. So uh, still a little bit range bound and a little bit choppy, and uh, we'll have to keep an eye on what it does. Dollar Swiss. Continued to sell off again, broke below support, um, below the 50 SMA, and then bounced quickly back up. But I, I do see some, uh, you know, signs of this uptrend reversing. Could continue. Uh, we could see this now bounce and continue the uptrend, but um, definitely seeing some signs of it reversing with this support being broken, trend line being broken, 50 SMA being broken. It's showing that this pair is still seeing some sell off, still seeing some weakness, and. Uh, may not be able to recover that uptrend. Aussie dollar, we were looking for a lower move this week, but we did in fact break higher. We broke above this weekly, I mean this daily trend line, but on the weekly chart we did break and now retest a weekly trend line. So we got different signs on different time frames. Gonna keep an eye on this pair uh, to see if we get any clearer direction. But as you can see in here, we have hit resistance and broke off broke bounced off of it and sold off which was also that weekly trend line and weekly resistance so this is seeing some definite bearish pressure um so i have to keep an eye on this pair we're getting mixed signs on different time frames so i'm not looking to trade this pair right away but definitely keep an eye on it new zealand dollar a couple different scenarios i could play out here really we broke structure um but we're still on a downtrend so uh we had a little temporary structure here that we violated and now have moved up but we're retesting this prior structure and strong resistance level at around the 70 50. um getting a lot of indecision candles here so we could sell off continue this down downtrend we could sell off and then bounce off this support area and now reverse to an uptrend um just keep it a couple scenarios on the table this isn't on my watch list either but it is definitely something i want to keep an eye on and keep staying on top of next pair uh, we will be analyzing this starts into my watch list and what i'm be looking for setups for this week 
Uh, the euro yen did make a lower high right here, coming up and pulling up to this prior resistance prior support turn resistance we are back up to the top of this trend channel so i do think we are ready to move lower i've seen some very strong bearish i mean bullish pressure here and bouncing um but i do think that this downtrend could continue we're still below the 50 sma smas are in a good location so i do think this could continue lower pound yen similar setup lower high on trend line with this red daily trend line on this prior support turn resistance structure we're nice, making nice moves down, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. At this lower high, below the 50 and 200. Um, I do think this pair looks like it could be ready to continue lower. Pound Aussie next. We are in a downtrend here as well. Bounced off the 200 SMA this week. Made a lower high. Um, we could be ready to sell off and move lower, but another one. Lower time frames tell me a little different. We got a little inverse head and shoulders here, so keep an eye on if this neckline breaks and what's going on in this time frame. But I do think, all in all, we see some bearishness continuing in this pair, really in the pound across the board. Pound Swiss franc, break and retest of this daily trend line in a little bit of a base here. Um, taking to the four hour, you can see a little bit of a bear flag pattern we've got forming here. Um, but I do think uh, this bearish engulfing Thursday. Off of this trend line shows us there's some bears stepping into the market, and I do think we are ready to move lower on this pair as well. Pound New Zealand, bearish again, um, broke this uptrend, violated, moved lower. 200 SMA kind of bounced, got a bearish engulfing close here Friday. A little bit of a rally after this strong push lower, making a little bit of a lower high. I think we can now drop again. Want to see it break this support level down here, but I do think we could be ready to push and make another lower low. Pound CAD, one of my favorite setups going into this week. Um, we've got this trend line bounce on a strong level here. Um, within a downtrend after a rally, we got this nice bearish engulfing close on Friday. Lower time frames you can see here with this counter trend line being broken. Price does look ready to move lower and continue to at least back down here 171 prior um, lower low market structure support zone. Euro New Zealand dollar, another one broke the strong uptrend. Violated 200 SMA, 50 SMA, 20 SMA, all um, bearish, came down, bounced off support, rallied for a few days, now had a bearish engulfing on Friday. You can see this pair looks ready to move lower off of uh, this four hour chart as well. So we will be looking for shorts in Euro New Zealand. I would love to see it come down and break this support, failed to break last time at around 166. And this pair could make some strong moves to the downside. Euro CAD, similar setup. We're in a downtrend, made a push lower, rallied now, retesting this broken weekly resistance, bearish engulfing close Friday, bounced off resistance, and the 50 SMA as well. This pair, another one that looks ready to move lower, taking it to the lower time frames, you can see this counter trend line breaking here as well. Euro Aussie, similar setup, same kind of setup in all these uh, Euro crosses, as you can see, downtrend, made a bullish bounce. Rallied a little bit within the downtrend, which is where we want to look for pullbacks. Now retesting the 200 SMA trend line and um, resistance. Got a little bit of a shooting star close Friday. So definitely another pair we want to watch to the downside here with Euro weakness. And Euro Swiss franc, another same thing. I posted a picture on my Instagram last week of a setup I was looking for with the break of this counter trend line. I wanted this 200 SMA and support to break. Price never did. It bounced up, but I'm still keeping an eye on this pair. Four-hour chart looks really nice with this um, setup bouncing off this supply zone resistance um, so definitely want to keep an eye on this pair to the downside as well out of the euro swiss franc and finally the aussie cad we've reversed this downtrend now in an uptrend broke the 200 sma pulled back to retest it on a strong level support and resistance lower uh higher high higher low in the higher low area now 20s crossing the 50 sma definitely want to be looking for selling opportunities maybe you can drop it down to the lower time frames look for counter trend line breaks um Whatever your strategy is, this is a good time to be looking for pullbacks here on the Aussie CAD. So it's going to be on my watch list to start this week. Um, that pretty much does it, guys. Quick video this week. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying these. I hope you get something out of seeing what I'm watching here, what I've got on here. Shoot me any emails at Corey at CoreFXTrading.com. Any questions, any pairs you want me to share with you, my analysis. Uh, this is my watch list for the week as well as the other pairs I covered. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. I'm hoping you get something out of it. That is why I do them. I make them with the sole purpose that people get something out of them. So um, I really hope you guys do. Just share any thoughts or comments or concerns or anything you guys have with me, and I'll try to address them best I can. 
But thank you guys for all the support. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you guys watching these videos, and I'll catch you in the next.